An inquest into the deaths of six people in a plane crash in Cork three years ago has opened in the Republic of Ireland. The six who died were three Northern Ireland businessmen, a Briton, a Spanish pilot and British co-pilot. They were killed when the plane being used by Manx 2 crashed on approach to Cork Airport after flying from Belfast. The aircraft, with 12 people on board, crashed in fog after failing to land on its third attempt on 10 February 2011. The inquest has been hearing from survivors of the crash, as well as from members of the emergency services, who were first at the scene, and from air accident investigators. Waterford man Donald Walsh, who was the first passenger to give evidence at the inquest, said that after the crash there was no one screaming in the plane. Heather Wilson, who also survived the crash, told the inquest she was very frightened, after she survived the crash, believing she would be burnt alive. She added that she and another passenger, Lawrence Wilson, said a prayer. Mr. Wilson said he thought the plane was not slowing down enough to make a safe landing. He also said that when he looked out of the window on landing, all he saw was grass and not runway. 